Okay, we're doing a demonstration of evoke potential recording using the discovery. There's the BrainMaster discovery unit. We're doing it all on one computer, one desktop machine. And we have the EEG as well as the stim cable plugged into the front of the discovery. There's our subject with the electro cap. And we have two pieces of software on the PC. We have BrainMaster software and ePrime. We go into the BrainMaster software and we begin to acquire EEG. Ready to start. And now the EEG has begun. We simply stop twiddling. We wait until we have clean EEG. And then we're ready to begin the recording. Now we're recording EEG, and we then will begin E-Prime, and we go into the E-Prime software. The stimulation is all programmed, and we let it initialize. Subject number, session number, ready to go. And E-Prime now takes over the screen and we get the message and then it tells us that to press any key to proceed and now we're stimulating That completes 60 repetitions. So we let E prime complete, minimize it. We're continuing to record EEG on the same computer we were doing the stimulation on. You can see the EKG artifact is there, and we now stop the recording. And we save the file. Now, to demonstrate that the file is there, uh, we can simply go to EDF browser. File open. And we're already in the directory with the recordings. And we'll just gather up one of the recordings. Hit open, add signals. And as we move to the right, there on channels 20. Uh, three, we see one of the stim pulses, and if I open the other file that we have both of them running in, let's take this one for example, in this one we see the stim pulses on channel 23 for the fixation. And on channel 24, we have the onset and the offset of the visual stem. So we have 19 channels of EEG plus the ears, A2 minus <coughs> A1, plus channel 23 has the um, stimulation fixation, and channel 24 has the onset and offset of the stimulation.